how are you yeah i'm great <laughs> thank you for attending my function yes this is a navros festival so it this is today's parsi new year yes. generally people follow the gregorian calendar where the new year is on january 1st but we parsi sinas have a different calendar so our calendar is also a solar calendar only but we don't have in a leap years so our dates are slightly different than the gregorian one we call it shehen shahi calendar yeah no i am not a christian okay, so parsis are zoroastrians yes, this is a very lesser known religion like very few people are left in you know? a we are one of them like people who have the lowest population so earlier in a we actually came from persia so persia nowadays is called iran you know back then there was persia and we migrated from in a persia or iran to india majority of us came to india there were some who went to other countries as well like pakistan you know afghanistan but majority of them in you know, a came to india and we are mostly living in in gujarat and mumbai yeah. this religion was founded almost 3000 years ago yes like so it's slightly older than christianity so just like you have jesus christ na or prophet was called zarathustra or you can call him zoroaster this like jesus is original name was yeshua but people call him jesus christ so his name was zarathustra but people call him zoroaster so this religion is you know, named after him the zoroastrianism is like christianity is named after christ we some of there are some beliefs which are similar but most of our religion is bit different we generally now have like just like you all we have one lord so we worship him and we like mostly are like you know worship fire is fire we worship in fire temples atash behram is the highest grade of fire temple then next comes agyari and then comes dadga so our main deity is ahura mazda is ahura mazda ahura means lord mazda means wisdom hai na is the lord of wisdom like you must have seen like photos of you know, a man with wings and that is the main symbol of zoroastrianism or navras celebration is very simple and it's not very complicated or anything you know today i clean the house you know with my family and then we visited our fire temple and then all my f- you know then i prepared some food with my family and now you know, we are like you know welcoming all the guests and now yes we have prepared all the foods have you tried parsi food no problem ena hope you like my food and i will show you yeah come here. so today i prepared some ravo it's a sweet dish in a made of some molina milk sugar then i have some sali boti is made up of in a mutton 
and then patrani machi it's a fish dish and lastly i have some dhansak it's made with in a meat and lentils so did you like the food thank you yeah it's slightly different na so since we live in india in our culture and our traditions are slightly like mixed with indian culture and traditions you know back in olden days i think it must be very different yeah we were originally in persia that's why we are called parsis you know people from persia and nowadays persia is now called as iran you know is like during those times you know there was some you know a uh, religious persecution going on in other people you know, the rulers back then were telling us to convert to islam so some you know parsis decided to flee iran and and you know, went you know sea voyage and came to india back then life was very rough you know nowadays people are more accepting and more friendly but back then you know what whoever rules you decides your fate so most of the parsis now are in india you know but there are like our communities in like other places like pakistan also in iran also there are lots of parsis still there you know zoroastrians you know and lot of parsis have went to other countries as well now like us canada australia every country like but origin was iran yeah uh, fun fact okay <laughs> this is actually not much of a fun fact but it's a interesting fact so you know you all you know generally after the death you know you all bury the body you know hindus generally burn the body but we you know f- feed the body to the vultures <laughs> yeah. you know it sounds very scary but we kind of believe that you know assimilating back to the nature you know like we believe that in you know, a instead of burying or burning the body we should return back to nature you know so we have uh, something called as the khama or tower of silence where the body is been kept and then in you know, a kept on a stone slab and vultures come and eat the body so the body returns back to nature is the cycle is completed yes, it can be very scary for an uh, outsiders to find out but you know, the person is already died so even uh, burying and burning is also kind of same thing we dispose the body so this is the one way we or like prophet thought is the correct way yeah thank you for understanding <laughs> yeah every culture has different every culture has different belief in you know? a no one knows who's right who's wrong you know? everyone feels they are right <laughs> so my native language is in you know, a gujarati yeah but you know depending on the location where the parsi live you know they may be talking different languages yeah so most of the parsi is you know had come to in you know, gujarat state you know so most of them are in gujarat so 
दे स्पीक गुजराती बट इन अब दोस्त लिविंग इन ईरान मज बी स्पीकिंग इन अ पर्शियन और ईरानियन अरेबिक ना वर्ड इज मे बी आई एम नॉट हंड्रेड परसेंट श्योर इस बैक देन आई थिंक पीपल मज बी स्पीकिंग पर्शियन ना वट इज ऑल्सो सम पीपल मे बी Maybe someday I will. Like someday I really want to go to Iran, and I would love to go and see different cultures. And it will be good experience. And it, Iran is a beautiful place, so definitely I would like to go there and see how is life there. Nothing that today is just all the almost all the rituals are complete. We already cleaned the house and decorated it and prepared the food. Now time to just enjoy with my friends and family. So what are you going to do afterwards? Okay. That's nice. Okay. And you can hang out with us, you know, like if you are like nothing to do, you can spend a day with us, you know. You can like talk to me or my family or my fr- friends as well, other friends, you know. I will introduce you to all of them. Yeah. Yeah, don't need to worry. Like they will have, they will like you a lot. No problem. Take your time. Yeah. You want me to introduce you? Come.